Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw anime style characters like this using 5 simple steps. Let's get into it. There are so many styles used in different anime and there's the chibi style, kawaii style, the mo art style, the standard animation uh, um, style that you'd have in Naruto and Bleach. There's still other styles that are out there, but in this video, we'll just be considering only the standard animation size, um, style. And one thing you should know is that um, even though anime are dynamic and can be different among different anime, there are certain features that are common among all of them. And these are what we're going to be considering today as we draw. So let's get right into it. What are the things we're going to look out for? And before we proceed, the first thing we need to need here, we'll need here to go ahead as references. We're going to be getting a lot of references. <laughs> We're just going to jump into Pinterest and get some anime reference and with this we can base our judgment and replicate the style. So one of the things we're going to look out for while we're doing this is the line style. We're going to look at the color style, the shading style, the highlights and, and a little something that I, I call post-production and that is not really necessary but we'll just you know, take a look at it. Now let's get into it. So for this I'll be using my original character that I've drawn but we're going to be redrawing this character in anime style so make sure to get your pencils and your pens ready let's get into it so there are three things that you want to do here when you're doing the sketching phase the very first thing is that you want to keep your lines thin and you want to use very clean lines but feel free to explore and try different things and you want to use markings and measurements to get the other parts and understand proportions i put down a, a chart here to show you what i did and you can see how i measured out the character and you can just pause it and get that measurement and that's all you have to do for the sketching phase moving on to the line art this is the most important part of this because your line art goes a long way to show if you're actually drawing anime style which is manga style or you're drawing a totally different style and these are the things that you should look out for when you're working with this style the first thing is you need to enable brush stabilization if you're using clip studio or photoshop i think you can do that brush stabilization will make your lines cleaner and crisp then the second thing you want to get there is you want to use a single line width throughout the the entire process don't change your line width don't use different line widths throughout use one particular line width the third thing is you use sharp edges for the hair and for the eyes and use smooth curved edges for the chin and other softer parts of the mesh like a like the organic parts lastly zoom in to make details on the character now we're going to move to the color aspect of this and for this i'm just basically picking the color of my original character and i'm not changing it well one thing you notice in anime style is that they use really vibrant colors for the hair and um to make a, a character dramatic and so that's what i went here for and with my character and this this particular session is like the most important part of this whole drawing process that we are doing now and this is the shading aspect now anime style or manga style shades is a, a a method of shading called cell shading and that's what we are going to be doing here but we're going to be painting only two passes and the first one is the ambient occlusion so the ambient occlusion is the shadow that is created when two objects come together when two objects meet like your neck and your head when they meet under your neck um there is the shadow that is created yeah that's called ambient occlusion and it appears all over um organic and both inorganic um object now the final part of this is adding the light source and um, we're going to just put that and change that to a color dodge or add layer if you're using photoshop and we will just reduce the brightness to like 50 percent and wow we're done so before we proceed to the time lapse that you saw on the thumbnail please if this video has been helpful to you please give it a like and consider subscribing to get more videos and tutorials from this channel Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can have me douse, not what I'm about, have your fucking cloud, it be raining now I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now
live Cause I just wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use To go ahead and run my fucking mouth, yeah I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss lots I tell you get big boss, you get yachts You swing lots and pop off a big shot I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things, impatient Who's at the top, think they need replacement? Who's at the top, think I'm gonna erase that face it? I don't give up quick, I don't give up shit, I won't give up this Cause I know that I want it, know that I'm on it, I'll make it, I promise You don't wanna fuck with me A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you